is a business. Unlike any good business people, Beaumont growers Phil, Bindi and Tom Longmire understand the importance of economics, which is why in 2004, Phil headed to Canada on a GIDC-funded Nuffield scholarship. That was the focus of my Nuffield, was to go and look around the world at people who are actually making money, not just the technology. So that was probably the basis for when we got started. And that was probably a good platform, because once you look at the economics, you start to sift out what, what we can adopt effectively. Upon his return, the Longmire started playing with variable rate technology, starting with gypsum spreading maps. With Tom having graduated from uni and returned to the farm in 2020, the family are now some of the most knowledgeable precision ag farmers in the state. We've started on soil types that there's clear correlations and clear yield, very defined soil type production zones that we feel like we can manage and help increase the potential. Our grey sodic clays will decrease our furt rate by 15% and increase the seeding rate. On Dad's Nuffield trip in Canada he saw the salty soils and the grey sodic clays weren't tillering as well and we are getting nitrogen toxicity in the soil so part of the decreased furt was actually to remove a bit of that nitrogen but also increase the amount of plants there if they're not tillering like the rest of the paddock. With two decades of experience behind them, Tom and Phil were the ideal candidates to present on precision fertiliser decisions in a tight economic climate at a series of workshops in Western Australia organised by the Society of Precision Agriculture Australia with investment from GRDC. Our view of variable rate is that the higher the price of fert, the more the zones vary and the, the more particular um, you try and manage the paddock. So with increased fert the last two years, we've been a lot more defined in our areas and how we manage the paddock. And as the fert's starting to drop away, we start to decrease the low rates and I guess the rates become closer together as fert price becomes more affordable. In the last sort of five years, we've moved into section control seeding, which has been a follow-on from our variable rate adoption. And just this year alone, we saved 98,000 in liquid N and starter fert which gives us either extra money to put in the FERT or keep in the bank. A lot of equipment now has variable rate capabilities as an option. And as early adopters of a lot of new tech, the Longmires recommend buying it now instead of retrofitting later. One of the reasons we've gone to the Coon linkage spreaders is that their rate application and section control and variable rate capabilities are up there on the market with some of the more accurate. This new spreader that we've moved into this year can actually change rates between spinners on each zone when you're going across variable rate areas. Once you're out in the spreader and you see the zones coming across it, it's actually more beneficial than I probably thought it would be when we first moved into variable rate spreading. The pair acknowledge that while there is a lot to be gained, Precision agriculture doesn't come without its challenges and they offered one key piece of advice. If you believe in what you're trying to achieve, you will persevere with it. But don't be afraid to stop if the numbers aren't working. We believe in the response we're trying to get out of it and where we're applying it. And if it doesn't work, then we sit down, review it, work out why it didn't work and look at whether it's worth trying the next time. Like every business, it's always about the money. So we always sort of have to justify our investment and, and our return on investment, you know, what's our payback and, and how quickly we can uh, achieve that. I think that's what sifts out what you should chase. But um, you need a little bit of blue sky, but you also need to be real that you've got to have the fun side, but you've also got to make it profitable. Mm -hmm.